The National Petroleum Authority, NPA, is to roll out an electronic cargo tracking system to check fraud in the transportation of fuel. Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Dubaumia, who launched the tracking system, says it will assist government to save $200 million from illicit transportation of fuel. Figures from the NPA indicate 98% of fuel are transported without any tracking system. This resulted in the loss of more than 43 million cities in 2014. Again, some $200 million, representing 1.1 million cities annually, is also lost through illegal fuel transportation. Due to the problem, the National Petroleum Authority has rolled out an electronic tracking system. The system is expected to check standards and monitor tanker drivers in their operation. Vice President Dr. Mohamed Baumia says the system will enhance government revenue mobilization. Plans to deploy automatic tank gauging and stock management and monitoring systems at retail outlets in the country this year. These systems will give the regulatory authorities such as the MPA and the GRA real-time view of petroleum product stocks and movements at all retail outlets and depots in the country. He again emphasized on new technological initiatives to address the loss of revenue. The Enterprise Relational Database System and now the Electronic Sealing and Cargo Tracking System. I'm informed that there are plans to, enfo to enforce the use of flow meters with temperature compensation features at all petroleum product depots and the automation of the measuring systems and processes at these depots and subsequent integration with the ERDMS. Chief Executive of MPA Al Hassan Tampuli spoke about plans to introduce an automatic stock gauging equipment. Every day when we wake up, we can tell the stock level in the station in my holy town of Gushigu, or in Karaga, or in uh, Hamili, Aflao, Elubo, any part of the country, we can have visibility and see what drops in and what goes out, and what goes off at the end of the day. By this, the GRA is able to immediately calculate the revenue that they are entitled to get from the product that has been dispensed. The Deputy Minister of Energy, Dr. Amin Adam, called on owners of tanker drivers to remunerate their drivers adequately to stop them from smuggling. Owners who will not pay appropriate wages and provide good conditions of service for their drivers will not have business with any state agency.